okay guys welcome back to ike soft original and today's lesson is the chapter six of um the practical aspect project we are doing and um on today's lesson we're going to see how to work along with data grid view and um in the intermediate and advanced section we will be going to connect it to the database but for now we are not going to connect it to the database i want to show you how the data grid view is being used so before we get started make sure you have created your project till this point right now i'm going to um do something like this and there are some things i need to get right so i need to get a data grid view so there's the data grid view drag and drop it somewhere here good so i'll just extend my data grid view something like this good and then extend it this way perfect now from this section i'll just add um labels right label so i'll just add first label and then for this label i i will just give it a size like 12 um let's say 14 i think 14 is kind of cool yes and then i will say that um student name right good so the student name comes here copy paste it one more time and then we will say that um student class good and then um we will say that um student age right and then we will say that um yes so let's say um student age let's take um these three um items for now and then let's um add text boxes right so we're gonna add um three text boxes as well as we added this good so we just copy and paste it one more time copy and paste it another time good so um okay so i'll just quickly rearrange everything good good so from this section i'll just um you know try to work along with a data grid so that um i get to understand what i'm doing right so i'll just extend this instead then um i will draw this back something like this and then this data grid view i'll just um you know do it this way good so for this section i believe i have the student name let me just extend it a little bit could something like this okay like this good so i believe i'm 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 good to go good okay good so from this point just click on the data grid view and then go to edit add 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 column right so you just add column click on add column and here you are going to add your column so head header text right so go to the header text and then we say that um student name right and then you add row now you can see that student name is there then we add student class right then you add the student class and then you say student age then you add the student age good so after that just close it and then come here um, you know arrange it something like this good and then um, we can still work along you don't worry for the um, for the student name sorry let's go to edit instead for the student name you can come down and then you can say that the width right that the width you can say that maybe is 200 um, oh sorry not the width yes the width you can say maybe the width is 200 and then the um class is 120 okay so it will just um you know fit in so let's give it another source for the class let's say 125 
good and it's done okay perfect so this is a countdown right so we we're going to add one um let's say uh, we're going to add one button right so let's add a button here right and then the button i'll make it big right good so i'll just make it bigger then um the the text size i'm going to make it 16 but bold good and then the text i will say add add row right good so i can strongly say the back color to be white and then the four color to be white sorry and then the back color to be black good good so this is our student um system right so anytime we add a student name class and then student age we just click on add it will just add it so let's double click on the add which is this let's double click on the add row this is what we're going to say right we're going to say that um um we're going to say that data grid view data grid view one dot um row rows dot add so it's going to add some rows right and the rows is going to add is text box one dot text then you bring comma then you say um text box two dot text then you bring comma then you say text box three dot text good so it will just add make sure you don't say text box two dot text and then text box one dot text and then text box three it won't work that way add it sequentially as this is text was one dot text this is text was two dot text and then this is text was three dot text so text was one is going to student one text box two is going to student class text box three is going to student age right so let's test this let's test this out and let's see how best it works so this is it so the student name is edu amanqua isaac right and then the student class is um let's say bs4 right and then the student age is 17 years right so when i add row you see that i just added right but it's not cleared so i can add as many as i can all the students i wish to add right but let's see something if we add it we want the system to clear right so we will say that um text box one dot clear text box two dot clear then we say text box three dot clear then we say text box one dot focus right it should focus on the text box one and then we want it to give us a message box right so we will say um, message box dot show we say that um something like data added successfully right something like this so i believe we are done good so this is the code line for it so when i click on start and then i say maybe this is um edu amanqua isaac and then the student class is bs let's say five right the student age is 17 when i click on add it will just tell me data added successfully and then it just come back here i will say that maybe um akon james uh, student class is maybe um bs1 right the student age is let's say 85 years right so i add so i can add as many as i can right so okay this is how the data grid view works and in the intermediate level or in the intermediate pamphlet or handout we will see how we can connect it to microsoft access to store this data and we will be using that to create a management school management software so stay tuned and learn very hard and in the advanced section we're going to connect it to uh, mysql and then maybe php my admin yes we're gonna you know work along with those things so until we meet again charlie have a nice day and 
Ike Soft Original is out.